made my spirit feel so alive again. Because you remind me why I make music, which is because I love music and I love people. And I believe in the power of music to change the world. I never did it for the fame, even though I'm really good at being famous. I never did it for any of that. I did it because I believed that it was my destiny. And if you follow your destiny with all your heart and your soul, someday I promise you it will be alive and it will be true because when I look out into the audience every night, I see my dream in all of your faces. My dream was not to be worshipped by anyone. My dream was always to inspire people to worship themselves. I found a way to worship myself through my weights and my bandanas and my leather, through my music and writing lyrics and melodies, being friends with people that made me feel dangerous and doing things that kill you all the time. These are the things that make me feel alive. So, I'm very lucky that I have something new in my life to make me feel alive every day. You make me feel so fucking alive, Bresson. So please accept my love tonight, and please remember that I love you so genuinely. <laughs> I, I'm not just saying it because you all bought a ticket. I really do love you. I actually really do need you, like family. I love you too. So, thank you for making my dream of Born This Way real. It's so real. And it's real because you fans are on another level. You guys are really positive and you see the world in so many colors and technology and fashion and art and all those amazing things. And you know, you're just like, you're the best, I'm the luckiest girl in the whole world. I actually am. Can you believe that? You're looking at the luckiest person on the planet. I'll remember for the end of the show. So I wrote this song. It was inspired by um, all of you, and it was inspired by. Bruce Springsteen, who I'm a really big fan of, because he represents blue collar America, and I I wanted to be that for all of you, and I hope that someday I will be. So this is called Hair.
most inspiring thing that has happened to me a long time was when I went to Cantagallo in Rio. And what I saw when I was there was a lot of people that are not glued to their iPads and they're not glued to their cell phones. And when the press came around, all the favela kids were like, come on, Gaga, let's go play football. Fuck that. <laughs> And this woman came out of her house and she said, I make chicken, you want chicken? <laughs> so I went in her house and she showed me how to make a Brazilian soup with chicken and with onions and all kinds of vegetables and how she put it in the oven. And, and then I walked a little further down the road and some little girls were they all wanted to come touch my hair because they had never seen a, w a wig like mine before. And you know what? That is what music is all about. Music's not about the internet and gossip. Music's not about being hateful or divisive. It's not about war. Music is about peace. So thank you for having a country that allows me and allows everyone to view truly amazing human emotion, to have an experience that would change me and my music. I know that you will hear so much influence from Brazil on art pop. It will be, it will be definitely... Let's go! 